Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to become TikTok famous, or at least a bunch of steps that you can use to grow your following on TikTok. So I have a giant list here, giant list that I wrote out yesterday, and I think all of these will be very helpful for you guys to grow all your followers. So yeah, let's get started. Um, the first one, and very important one, um, is to post at popular times according to a chart that I found. So it will be linked down below, but I will have um, a couple of the times here. But um, you're most likely to get on the For You page if you post at these times, and um, you're likely to reach the most audience. Um, next. Try to jump on trends as soon as you can, like as soon as you see them and you know it's going to be big just by you see a couple people doing it or it's really funny, just something that you enjoy. Um, almost every day there are new trends, so it doesn't matter if you miss one, but if you can get on as many as you can, you're um, more likely to get on the For You page or get featured or whatever. Um, also, like, put your own spin on featured hashtags that TikTok has because they have like new hashtags every day on um, the ex all, like on the Explore search page. I don't know what it's called, but um, they they will favor you if you use them and make videos for those hashtags. Um, also, post one or more videos per day. This is a um, very, very important one because the more that they see you're being consistent, the more likely you are to be on the For You page, which is seems like the ultimate goal because if people see you on the For You page, they might check out your video, look at your other stuff, like it, comment, whatever engagement you want. Um, and try to post them at popular times, but if you have multiple videos to post, try to um, space out which times that you use. So say you have three videos to post, you might want to post one in the morning time, one in the night time, or two at night, or whatever. Um, just to make sure you can reach the maximum audience ever in the world. Next, um, try to like do at other accounts, um, engage on their posts, and like if, an ori if the original video creator sees your video they might like it or comment on it or engage with it or reshare or redo it. They're just likely to um, see your content and be like, wow, this person likes my stuff. That's really great. And it's kind of like validating for them. So if you um, do at their stuff and they see it, it they might um, try, like share it out with their followers and get you some traction too. Um, next, dancing and humor are the most popular videos on TikTok. So, um, try to like learn popular dances or recreate others dances um, try to even choreograph because there are a lot of people who will put in the time to learn the dance but there are not that many people who put in the time to choreograph a dance like they're completely their own to a um, sound so that is something that I've seen people really blow up on when people find their dances and share them and do them and tag and stuff. That is a very big one for people to um, gain followers. Um, and if you find something funny, chances are somebody else on the For You page will find it funny also. So um, it probably will perform well if you um, make a video about it and put it um, on your account. Um, also, make video series on your account because. Um, it encourages people to come back, so if you have one video that's funny, then people will be like, oh wow, part two coming, wow, if you say that it's part one or part two or whatever, then people should, might follow and come back and um, see what other um, funny videos you're posting in that series. It's just a kind of like a, um, it's loyalty, I guess, is what you would call it, and that's really what you want from your followers. Um... People will follow or come back, and it can make up your niche. Like, your niche could be humor, dance, travel tips, makeup, I don't know, um, just anything, really. But people might come back and be like, hey, I've never seen a person in this niche with videos as good. So they might um, recognize you for it. Also, use hashtags, but don't overuse them. Um, feature hashtags on 
the, that TikTok makes are very good at getting your videos recognized. Um, but don't overuse them, please. Like I said, um, only use the featured hashtags if your video applies to them. Um, and hashtag FYP, hashtag for you, and hashtag for you page are some of the biggest hashtags on TikTok. And they often get people on the for you page. Um, any hashtags of things that are in your video also, like maybe hashtag of the person who wrote the sound that you're using, or a hashtag dance, or a hashtag travel, whatever is actually in your video, hashtag that, but don't use too many of course. Um, it's, there's a fine balance. Um, be active on other people's videos on the For You page. So comment on a video if you thought it was funny. Try to comment something unique though, not just like, haha, because -ha, people are much more likely to respond to you or like your comment if it's something unique and funny or whatever. Just don't be mean, please. Nobody likes something mean on their videos. Um, don't do any self-promo, but seriously, comment useful stuff and that may get you um, recognized by other people. Um, make videos using products that you love. Um, if the company that created the product that you love is on TikTok, it's a great way to get recognized because often companies love when people make videos or posts on other social media of people using their product. Um, so they will often reshare it or they'll just like it or whatever, but it, it's a good way to get traction. Um, share, but don't overshare your stuff on other social media platforms. Um, it can be the needed momentum that you have to get to um, get started on the algorithm, to get into the algorithm. Um, just getting your friends to follow is always a great way to get started. Um, Use popular sounds in your videos. If there's a sound that you're scrolling and you keep hearing it over and over again, um, it's fair game. Like, if you use it, then maybe somebody will see your video on the sound and then do it your video or whatever. It's kind of just like a effect that keeps going on. Um, put an honest effort into making your videos good quality. People can really tell if you put time into a video or not, and um, people like good transitions, nice quality video, well thought out videos, um, just things with a general like storyline, not just thrown together in two minutes because you had to post every day kind of stuff. Um, if it's not something that you're proud of, then don't post it, then put more work into it or try something else. Um, but seriously, it's really important to post things that you're proud of because I know it's been said, but it will be on the internet forever. Um, also, make a schedule for going live. If you get above um, a thousand followers, then you, like, don't pressure people to give you money, but because the TikTok audience is very young, but um, like all platforms, going live is a great way to grow and uh, catch the attention of your projected audience. Um, and also just engage with your followers. They might share you if they think you're funny or they liked your live and they'll just keep coming back. Say you go live every Friday at 7 p.m. Then they'll probably come back almost every Friday at 7 p.m. to watch your live and support you and whatever. Or if you even schedule when you're going to post your TikToks, that's also a really good way to get um, quick engagement because if your followers all come back when you post a video, then it'll be like this great momentum for TikTok to take it and put it on the For You page. Because if something is a slow incline, they're much more, uh, much less likely to um, take your video and show it to other people. So it's really important that you get um, starting energy in your videos. So yeah, that was all I could think of for um, tips on how to get TikTok famous or at least grow your audience. So let me know if you have any other tips for people to grow their TikTok audiences. Um, yeah, and it would be really great if you guys would drop your TikToks down below and support each other. That'd be really nice. Um, and yeah, follow me on TikTok at Rosie Revolts and all the other social media platforms. Same, Rosie Revolts. And I will see you guys later. Bye!